Yeah, yeah, hey. Go. <laughs> uh, I think I understand all the corpse sips now. <laughs> Gonna f day with death on house arrest till trial days. So I grab the red wine on rainy days and then I blow it. Cause I'll age another f thousand days before I know it. Yeah, I spend them all inside. Waste my time while I'm scrolling. But I love when it rains. Cause I'm agoraphobic. Drop that mic! <laughs> Nice, dude. So, what the hell is agoraphobia? It's the fear of being in situations where escape may be difficult or embarrassing, and this fear is obviously out of proportion to reality. For example, someone can be afraid of being nauseous and having to vomit on the bus to work to the point where they avoid going on the bus altogether because of their agoraphobia. I can't do shit right, I can't learn my lesson. I can't do shit right, take any depressants. Illness and welfare rob my adolescence. My friends probably hate me, can't answer a message. Filled with anxiety, always be hiding me. Feeling inadequate, always what's driving me. Not a role model, that's not what I strive to be. Can't I'm struggling to decide what to feel. <laughs> what he's saying is nothing to bop your head to, but this is kind of fire. Dude, the video is so good. Actually insane. Boy. Untreated agoraphobia can become so serious that the person may become unable to leave the house, like Corpse alluded to. Or maybe they leave the house, but they endure these situations with great distress. There's a bunch of criteria needed to be met in order for a diagnosis to be made, but in general, an agoraphobic person will experience marked fear or anxiety about two of these following situations. Using public transportation. Being in open spaces being in enclosed spaces, standing in line or being in a crowd, and being outside the home alone, meaning they desperately wish they were Macaulay Culkin. I guess I'm a fan now. <laughs> The Greek word agora actually means open space or place of assembly or marketplace. Agoraphobia is an anxiety disorder like social anxiety disorder or separation anxiety disorder, but it is especially linked to panic disorder, another one of the social anxiety disorder. No, no, anxiety disorders, not social anxiety disorders. Do I cut that? <laughs> panic disorder is an anxiety disorder and it's linked to agoraphobia. I'm moving on. How exactly is it linked though? First of all, panic attacks themselves can elicit agoraphobia, as in the person can fear having a panic attack at the worst possible time and maybe not be able to get help. But also, agoraphobia just occurs most often alongside panic disorder. Agoraphobia actually used to be considered just a complication of panic disorder, but not anymore. Panic disorder is basically the patient experiencing recurrent panic attacks. Maybe we can work together. I can rehabilitate you. You don't need to be alone. Some of these attacks aren't triggered by anything, and some of the patients have anticipatory anxiety that could last months awaiting the next attack. You don't really have to have any of these in agoraphobia. By the way, turnips are great low carb and low calorie snack if you're into that sort of thing. Is this how we get views? Hmm? Is this what you want? <laughs> the only thing we have to fear is Fear itself. Oh, so it's all FDR's fault. Some people took his motivational advice a bit too seriously, and now it's just a part of our culture. Nah, but for real. The fear of fear hypothesis is actually a thing. The fear of having a panic attack makes the person hypersensitive to internal cues of panic, like a, a rapid heartbeat. And then the threshold for a panic attack actually occurring gets lowered. And they always ask him questions about my face, can't relate. Got my own reflection, broke a mid the other day, got a lot of bad Here's an interesting tidbit, more than a quarter of people diagnosed with panic disorder with agoraphobia also have a specific phobia like arachnophobia or claustrophobia. Specific phobias are also part of the anxiety disorders gang, by the way. One of the problems with treating them though is people don't even know it's a sickness, so they don't seek treatment. I cracked a bunch of jokes during this video because that's just what I do, but honestly, Listening to this song just makes me really sad. It just sucks, man. I hope Corpse and anyone that can relate to that song get to be happy and have the quality of life they so desperately deserve. But you might be surprised at how many negative things that you're trying to learn to live with don't actually have to be that way. Please, do seek help if you feel you might be needing it. See you next time.